hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is Nikki. thank you so much for clicking on this video on today's menu we are making kose yes i already have a video of kose on my channel but this is an updated one an easy one of course let's get started so this is what we need we need our black eye piece yes um, this is already peeled after my first video on the course I had to peel off all the peels on the black eye piece my mom saw the video and she thought it was too much work so she saw this on Amazon and she got this for me and yes I love this one this was so easy I didn't have to go through the stress of like taking off all the skin from the black eye piece guys it was a lot of work when I did the first video but trust me this was so easy really really easy thank you so much mommy you can also find the uh, already peeled um, black eye piece in most uh, local grocery store and your African shop uh, I recently saw the same brand in uh, one of the African shop that I go to too. so just check your African stores or local grocery store and I think you can find one there I'm just washing my black eye piece um, as you can see there's some little bit black stuff in there so when you wash it it brings it all out so that's exactly what I'm doing so make sure you wash it even though it's peeled but you still have some black stuff that you want to take away to so make sure if there's any dirt in it everything comes off okay Koso is mostly eaten with Hawaza cocoa that's the millet porridge I have a video on how to make your house of cocoa on my channel. I'm also going to put the link in the description box below if you haven't watched it yet. You could also have this as a snack. You don't have to eat it with the house of cocoa. So if you don't like the house of cocoa, just eat it by itself. And it tastes really good by itself too. And it's really filling guys. The little goes a long way. My black eye peas are washed and clean now. I'm going to be soaking it in water for about one hour. Yeah, this is just to soften it before we blend it. And this is about two cups of water. Yeah, so make sure you soak it for an hour or two before you blend it, okay? In one hour time, most of the water has reduced because it has been soaked by the black eye peas. Yeah. And I figured my beans was too much at this point. So I put some in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to put them in the freezer for later. I was not going to use all of it. It was too much. So I have about three cups of black eye peas in the blender. One scotch bonnet pepper and half onion. The scotch bonnet pepper depends on you. If you want it really spicy, add more to it. But I didn't want it too much. One was enough. I added one fourth cup of water uh, to make it easier to blend. Make sure you don't add too much water when you're making your um, kose. If it's too much liquidy, it's not, the consistency is not going to be great, okay? So this is how the consistency look after I blended everything. So at this point, I'm just going to be um, using my hand wicks um, to incorporate some air in it. You could just um, fry it this way, um, but if you want it really light and fluffy, just use your hand wakes or your kitchen mixer to just incorporate some air into it and it becomes really light and fluffy after you're done frying it but if you don't have it and you just want to go straight ahead that's fine too i added one teaspoon of salt before i hand wakes it um that video didn't come up so make sure you add a little bit of salt but if you don't like the salt just omit that part okay and see how light and fluffy and creamy that looks so with my last um, kose video, I mixed the eggs with the mixture, but this time, no. I'm not going to be mixing it in there. I'm going to be putting it on top. Yes, just stay tuned and see how beautiful that turns out. Also, make sure your um, fire is not all the way high. Otherwise, your kose is going to burn and it's not going to be cooked inside. And this is what I was talking about. See? so you want to make sure you have your spoon take a little bit of the mixture the egg mixture and just put it on top and make sure once you put it on top you're making like a little bit hole in there otherwise everything is like going to fall into the oil 
so make sure you poke a little bit of um, holes while you put in the egg mixture on top okay back home in Ghana there was this lady that sometimes I buy kose from yeah and this is how she fries her kose and it's always so beautiful like it's so different from the other kose sellers because of how she put like the egg mixture on top so yes look how pretty that looks so yeah if you want to fry your kose just try this method and it turned out really pretty really really pretty we're done frying the first batch of kose um, anytime you're done frying the first batch make sure you scoop up that little um, kose bit in there yeah make sure you scoop that out before you put your second batch of kose And before I put my second batch of kose in there, I turned my fire to medium low. Yeah, because you don't want it too high to, to the point that it's also going to burn because at this point your oil is extra hot. So you want to make sure it's turned to medium low. So we're doing the same thing to the second batch. Uh, we're putting our egg wash on top of it. Make sure you poke the holes while you're putting it in there otherwise it's all gonna spill into the oil so yeah look at that really pretty try this at home guys please do try this at home and you're gonna love it especially when you serve it for your guests they're gonna love it because it's gonna look so pretty on the table if you're watching this channel for the first time please subscribe to the channel like and share and also don't forget to um, hit on the notification bell so anytime I upload you're gonna be among the first to watch and our kose is done our second batch of kose is done and guess what we're gonna be having with this kose yes our house of cocoa I'm gonna break into one for you to see how light and fluffy and beautiful that looks can you see the eggs on top can you see how beautiful that looks yes this is perfect kose perfect and I enjoyed this with my house of cocoa and yes guys you could also have this by itself as I said it's a snack by itself and it tastes really good do you dip your um, kose in your house of cocoa before you eat it? Remember how we used to dip our bread in our tea and milo? Yes, I still do it because it still tastes good. If you have it, try it and you're gonna love it. What about putting your kose in your bread? Guys, please, this is a must try if you have it. It tastes really good. You just put your kose in your bread like your sandwiches and that's it this is like kose and bread sandwich this is good just take a bite and it's good <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned something new i hope you give this a try and i know you're gonna love it this is cooked with naki be good to yourself be good to everybody it goes a long way